Rosalind Conway, Chow Entertainment. We are here at an amazing event tonight. This is the 15th Arts Olympia Awards. And I don't know what happened. Can you tell me what we're here tonight for? You know, sometimes there are those unique experiences. It's not an event, it's not a mastermind. Uh, Dr. Olympia, after uh, finishing up successfully Family Film Awards, as we know, with Dick Clark as a founder, and now with Dr. Mo and uh, Dr. Yi, so you know what, I'm gonna follow my new vision and dream since I was three years old. So I'm gonna have the first ever international 15 Arts of the Wolf, Art and Culture, presented by Wolf Institute. And uh, after we set up the plan uh, since 2014, I said, you know what, I'm ready. And before I start anything, I want like, you know, Moses has 12 disciples, Jesus had 12 disciples. I wanna have 12 people that see eye to eye and they're gonna to come to the first ever official open house of executive leadership. Wow. And this was invite only few people. And you know, tonight when we started, we had 10 and the 12, and then eight more showed up. So it was a total of 20 and you were there. Yeah. And you know, what happened was we started, of course, with the name of God and how God created the world. And Megan Johnson, the international coordinator, uh, recited a beautiful uh, uh, prayer. Mm -hmm. And then we got into it. Dr. Olympia talked about his background. And after that, we presented the first ever plan for the uh, introduction of the um, Olympia Awards. Olympia Awards. I know, I almost said Family Awards, uh, of uh, 30th October. And that was so amazing because as some of our friends, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Schmidt mentioned, it was not even experience. It was divine. And whoever was here, it never can be duplicated, as they said in their interview, and was very, very grand. It was very special. It was transformational. And after Axel brought out the plan and sponsorship, partnership, everyone went around and talked about who they are, what they do, what they're good at. And you know, this is the mindset that we need and require to put this together. I know that Chai Entertainment, Lisa, and the whole crew here, they were with us back in 2014, 15, 16 with Family Film Awards and also Olympia. But that back then was eight awards, I remember. And now it's not a dream. It's not another idea. It's not a venture. It's happening. Wow. And I know that you were one of the 20, originally the 12. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, it's very unique because it started, the movement is here. So for our friends out there that you're watching Child Entertainment, you know, what do we have? We have time, we have resources, we have backing. Prince, they ask you, how are you going to do this? This is such a grand idea. Yeah. And then I, we tell him, yeah. you know, he did the family promos with the Lady Clark. So this it's not like it hasn't been done before. The Olympics of sports have been around for 2,800 years. And now this is the same thing, just times 15. Wow. And art and culture, 15 chapters. So on 30th of October, what's gonna happen is a very, very pleasure and privilege to do collaboration with Chow Entertainment and the team. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start the first introduction. So a lot of people just see this beautiful person with a big smile and a big heart, but they don't know who he is. Right. It's too grand. So we're gonna educate people on who is Prince Dr. Olympia, what has he accomplished here and also in Iran and internationally, Family Film Awards history. And then we're gonna get into the, what we call macro strategy of right. what is the 15 arts of art and culture of Olympia globally. And then we're gonna go into micro, every single division that, that I know you already covered, we're gonna have a representative that is a master of each area, dance, music, and they're gonna come and they're gonna explain what that art means, which is very unique, which is very diverse, and is different, but yet collectively it unites everyone. And that is really the uh, philosophy and culture that he really wanted to bring out with this particular movement. And I wanna thank you and thank Town Entertainment to come in tonight to cover this as our official live streaming <laughs> tonight. And I, I just in, in closing, I want Dr. Olympia to say a few words and then we finish this. Well, I'm very impressed because the, I saw tonight there were like 25 people, but about 25 people from different countries. That was so fascinating me and because they look at each other and they know this Olympia Award belongs to your country. Not belong to me, it's a universal. You have to see how beautiful you are, your culture, your language, your race, your attitude, your ethnicity. We have to educate each country who they are to their own culture. And we have to learn to respect when we introduce our culture, we'll be open to know other culture, maybe in between, 
we found something and then we foundation the human being and can love one another. Now I want to thank Rosalind uh, for the channel with uh, Child Entertainment to cover this exclusively. Uh, we thank you for your effort that you have done at this time for 10 years as an author and an entrepreneur and a transformational coach. It's, it's unique and uh, for us to have this interview with you and Lisa and the team and Child Entertainment behind you, it's a pleasure. You know, we're add something major, something major, a lot of network going to be on the October 30th. Mm -hmm. uh, Chow Entertainment, they will be there after one of the major ones. Fantastic. Well, yeah. congrats to be on the Thank Earth. you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you for the so opportunity. Much. And thanks again. This is Rosalind Khan from Chow Entertainment. It is on KXLA, 11 a.m. every Tuesday. We're entertainment, we're back. We have with us a distinguished guest all the way from El Salvador. And you get to hear, I do speak Spanish. Naemis Lopez de El Salvador. Dígame, ¿qué piensas de este evento esta noche? Bueno, primeramente, este, me siento muy agradecido por estar acá con todos ustedes. Y gracias a, a, a Shai, Kisha, que me invitó a esta maravillosa reunión con un grande personaje. Y principalmente es un gran honor para mí conocer al doctor Olimpia, que sé que es un gran productor, una persona que está llevando este gran evento y que ha estado dando reconocimientos en todos los artes que existen, música, baile, películas. Para mí es un honor conocerlo en persona y poder contribuir en algo que pueda para él y para todos ustedes. Okay, so I asked what he thought of this event. He said it was a marvelous opportunity to be here tonight with all these people to be invent but to be invited by Ms. China. Isha, Isha Chabra. Isha Chabra. And to be involved with Dr. Jolini and these wonderful, amazing people from all around the world. It gives him great pride, great happiness. He has to deseo for the futuro. What is your dream for the future? Eh, pues este, poder crecer y uh, trabajar más y poder colaborar en lo que estoy haciendo y eh, conocer más personas para así crecer más en todo lo que hacemos. Okay, he said he wants to think, he wants to work, and he wants to collaborate with all the people here. And so, Mr. Jolini, thank you so very much. Gracias a usted. Thank you so much, Mr. Jolini. <laughs> Rosalind Khan from Chow Entertainment with Isha Shabra. This young lady comes to us all the way from India. She says this beautiful garb can be, is it custom made that you can go to the city of Artesia and we can all come dressed in this beautiful, at the next event, you're gonna see us all there. But more importantly than that, this young lady has a heart to share with us the culture of India. So tell us, what is your role in this Olympia Awards? Okay, so I'm gonna be an international coordinator for the Olympia Award and thank you so much Prince Dr. Cellini for recognizing my talent as you have the special thing in your heart for the young talent and he has recognized my talent and the, so now I'm very much glad to be associated with the Olympia Award because now this is the time for me to give back to my country and uh, so I can give the platform to Indian films in 15 categories to the Olympia Film Award and I'm so glad because the, now Indian cinema has to be recognized on the global platform so this is a global platform and uh, I always get motivated by Prince Dr. Cellini I'm so thankful Wow, that is a beautiful story. I know some filmmakers in the country of India that I've, I've worked with before. I've worked with a lot of people around the world. And I have a friend of mine, whose name is Jazala Jabin, and she has this dancing that she puts on of the sounds and the music there. And it's, it's just beautiful, the things we know. So it is, it is a great, great honor to have you as part of this ambassador from India and all the wonderful things you can share with the filmmakers of the world. And yes. I can sense from you, you have the most beautiful heart and it is so wonderful to have met you today Thank so you. this is Rosalind Khan from Chow Entertainment KXLA 11 a.m. every Tuesday the moment I want to ask in here whatever you see tonight and uh, because this message I want to go to a great country India Indian people say it in your language yeah Namaste my name Isha Chabra and now I am Rosalind Khan and Prince Dr. Jilini ke saath hoon, 
तो हम ओलंपिया फिल्म अवार्ड एक ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म है प्लेटफॉर्म है जहाँ पर पूरे वर्ल्ड की पूरे वर्ल्ड की कंट्रीज आई कैन नॉट एक्सप्रेस माय फीलिंग आई एम सो एक्साइटेड बिकॉज ये इंडिया के लिए ईरान के लिए स्पेन के लिए लंदन के लिए ये एक ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म है कि सारी कंट्री के लिए ये एक ग्लोबल प्लेटफॉर्म है एंड वी वी इनवाइट यू टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ आर फैमिली ओलंपिया फैमिली आई कैन नॉट वेट टू सी द नेशन टूगेदर Olympia Award. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, this is Rosin Khan returning once again with the beautiful lovely Sanji. Sanji, you Sanji, are yes. Sanjini. Yes. You are absolutely beautiful. So tell us what do you do in the world? Thank you. I'm an actress and a filmmaker. I produce and direct and write my own films. I'm also an action film uh, series called Eye of the Empress. Oh. which involves martial arts and fight scenes. Oh great. So I have a lot of different martial artists of different styles and I uh, I've even done a little film called Motel Patel uh -huh. about an Indian family that own a motel in the US. Wow. Um and many different um like comedies as well. Wow. And I'm also a publisher of children's books. Awesome. I've published 10 already on Amazon and Kindle. Oh, that is so, great. So how did you get involved as a young lady in the martial arts? Um I I was walking by a table where they were they were getting out some flyers and um it was just two weeks of free classes with the gi which uh -huh. is the uniform and then I never stopped. Wow, so it's, it's always interesting on how these accidents begin to happen and they they turn our our lives around. And the second big question is I do have a heart for, for children. You ever see me around kids go to an event and I'm with the kids. The kids are my best friends. What turned you on to children? Um what I like about children's stories and children's books is uh, children have imaginations so using your creativity and imagination to tell different stories so i have stories like wobbles the jellyfish goes to school petro the blue frog so the blue frog is different from the other green frogs but each each story has like a moral or a lesson for kids wow or like my life as a dollar bill and it fo follows the journey of a dollar bill and it teaches kids to value each dollar like every dollar counts Well, it sounds like such, such beautiful stories. I was on a platform of some morning meditation. We we're talking about creativity. And the saddest part of childhood is children begin with such strong senses of creativity, and American schools just just push it down. And so it's it's great to see the stories that you have and opening and, and widening those those doors. And it's it's really phenomenal to to learn those. We'll have to collaborate on some some things because I, yes, I love children. I, love I interviewed some kids named uh, Tyler Gordon, the kid who painted the picture of Kamala Harris. Another kid I interviewed by the name of AJ Stunts. He's a young child. He's a motorcycle rider, but he gives so much back to humanity. He's going to be here in LA, handing out food and so forth. And when he comes, maybe we'll see if we can join together and collaborate. Sure, I would love that. It'd be absolutely wonderful. And also, um, I train with martial arts. Oh wow! So I train with um, Shaolin monks, the Shaolin Cultural Center. So it's a they from the Shaolin Temple. Wow, you know what? It's, it's very spiritual as well. That sounds great. There's a young kid I know. His name is Joshua Ray, and he's a world champion with the the suits that they have and the a fighter in those worlds. And it's 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 amazing what these young kids can do. Oh yes, I mean my teachers. I'm not I'm not anywhere close to their level because they've been t training since they're kids and they do flips and all kinds of. Crazy stuff. No, it's a, and one it's last thing, I'm going to Egypt oh. in three weeks. Interviewing oh, wow. a diplomat, and wow. that is going to be out of this world. So you stay tuned and watch for that because that will be coming yeah, up on Shout Television. I have a question. Uh, what do you think about tonight and the, the Olympia Award? What's your thought? I think it's amazing, and to actually have like an Olympia Awards of all the different kinds of um, art and culture, because just to you know have the main, main Olympics with the different kinds of sports, but the sports is included too. Right. But art and culture, um, I think, in every country of the world, it's a universal it, it, to bring joy and creativity, entertainment to people's lives is important. It just kind of closes the yeah. whole globe of it all together. Yes. It's just yeah. absolutely beautiful. So thank you so much, Sanjini. Thank you, and I think it's an amazing concept. Yeah, thank you. It really is. Thank you much. Gratitude beyond words. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Once again, coming back to you, Chow Entertainment at this Olympia Family Fields Awards launch, and we have in front of us this young lady, who's an author, an attorney, and a person who has a deep compassion for changing our world and the world of technology. 
Take it away, my friend. Give us your name. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. My name is Andrea Sherman, and I'm a founder of Be Different Foundation. And I was this evening um, participating at this network that is amazing that uh, Mr. Dr. Gelini is creating something to make a difference in the world. And uh, when you see all these categories here, it's not about competing and a contest, it's about cooperation and bringing something different in the world, changing the paradigm, the mindset of making a difference. So it's all about, so uh, based on our um, purpose with our Be Different Foundation, I want to acknowledge your support and acknowledge mm -hmm. how you make a difference in the world and how you change and shift this paradigm of being different from switching from competition to cooperation. So this is something very interesting. So from Olympia, I have a, a very... I can borona mi lista linica. Ine ka ti polisi mandiko ya ya to kosmo ke epedi ine apo apo elada Olympia sa ine megali epitihia to kosmo ke elpisi ne elada sa pai to sin sin proti tesi to kosmo. So thank you, Dr. Olympia, for this. Okay. And uh, I want to thank you and for your beautiful contribution to the work. You are beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. It's truly an honor. And what language are you speaking? Greek. Oh, great Olympics. Greeks? I mentioned yeah. you great country, Greece, and Greece people. Greece from people. my heart. Yeah. I want to thank you. I was there. They give me very good hospitality. Okay. Thank you, Prime Minister. Ekaristumelada from and I'm very thankful to the government, to our institution, and everybody who are uh, show me around and the beautiful city of Olympia, which is in my heart. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. What are the thoughts that went through your head as you were listening to all the people talk tonight? Can you share with us? Yes, uh, first of all, thank you so much for coming. We have a history together. It was a wonderful journalist, and I'm very thankful to understand the value of culture, art, entertainment. And I'm, uh, but tonight, that diversity, you know, 30 people, 35 people, uh, they, each one from different country, and uh, you can see, I saw the smile, everybody don't know they are part of Olympia. That's, that's, this is the America, diversity of the different nationality, different ethnicity, different races, different religion, but do not even how can we all come in under one umbrella of the love and peace. And I believe with Olympia War, through the Olympia War, through the respect one culture to another culture, an open mind, we can live in the beauty, we can find a way to get along. Right. And it's my heart, I'm so proud, blessing of God, after four years in America, from since my childhood, three years old, when I received a call from the a respectable law firm, William New, they give me a, a, a trademark, and you know, now I can see I feel so good to every country realize how important they are. Keep your dancing, keep your music, keep your all the 15 categories you have. Right, it's belong to it's your country. Wow. And I'm gonna, you're gonna maybe you're gonna learn from my country, and every three years we're gonna come together. And uh, the good thing is, you know, every this art, it will be a photograph. For example, program TV for Philippines. Mm -hmm. So people look at the people that have no money to learn in violin or other things they don't know. Hey, they can learn from best of the best of the country. Wow. First Olympic own country, the best of the best in my God. We have a lot of art and artists and talented. We never discovered. We discovered and after three years, all coming together under the umbrella of love and peace. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Well, it's such a pleasure and honor. Let, let us go ahead and finish up tonight. My name is Rosalind Khan. I'm with Chow Entertainment. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Oakland Aviation Museum. This is a special museum for aircraft, historic GA, general aviation, and World War II airplanes here at the Oakland Airport. As you can see, it's now open seven days a week for the summer. And I wanted to show you around. This is an indoor and outdoor museum. This is the outdoor area. Over there we have a flying boat. There's not too many of those left. Here you can see the Douglas KA-3B Sky Warrior. Really cool. Let me take you inside the hangar. I'd love to show you around a little bit inside this hangar that is home to so many wonderful planes. This here is a favorite of most people. It's a P-51 Mustang. A 
lots of red and blue. You can read up on it. See the helicopter back there? It's always great to look at all the historic aircraft that you can't see in too many places. I'll just take you through this hangar right here. This is an Aranka. A lot of people got their start or had their first flight in this plane. Now we use more Cessnas. Come over here. And this is just a great place to come and visit to bring your family. As you can see, the ground is like a little runway. The Kitty Hawk Corporate. And of course, that's the Wright Brothers. That's the Wright Brothers plane. There's always an exhibits in here. We have some engines. And this is the gift shop where you can get all of your favorite aviation goods. Thank you, and we hope to see you soon. Well, if you missed out, this is Rosalind Khan from KXLA Chow Entertainment here in Los Angeles and KXL, KXLA in Los Angeles and KGNG in Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a man that is a leader who's interviewed so many people from around the world. In the first half of the show, we got to learn all the dignitaries he talked about. Then we got onto the important stuff. We asked him the two qualities of what a leader was. And first he was talking about the human qualities. He was talking about being able to unify other people. And you were telling us, what was the second characteristic? To be strong in what you do and believe in what you do. And if you have a good cause and you believe in what you're doing, your cause, then you could do it pretty good. Because to, in order to do something, you have to believe it first to transmit that to the other people or to the group or to the world. So that is what it is. Wow. Now, if you were to go back to your childhood and look at the little child in you, mm -hmm. when you were a young child, did you ever have any vision that this is where you'd be someday or this is what you would be doing? Or was it just all per chance that these things just fell into place? Well, uh, I must tell you, uh, I wasn't that lucky at the childhood. I was, uh, you know, I was born Jewish in a Jewish family in the city of Hamadan with the story of Esther and Mordecai, the oh. story of Purim happens there. Wow. And I'm intending to do an opera on that very soon. Great. And would be a, something, a cultural thing to the uh, Jewish community in the whole world. Beautiful. But unfortunately, at the time, it was after the war because I was born in 1941. Mm. And then it was right after the war, Second War. And at that time, the city was bombarded by the uh, German and uh, Germans, uh, you know, that they came to Iran and uh, Iran was involved unwillingly in, in the war mm -hmm. because the British came from the south and the Russian from the north mm -hmm. and Iran was occupied at that mm -hmm. time. And I was born in that time that they bombarded the city of Hamadan in Iran. Unfortunately, I lost my father mm -hmm. when I was one year old. And then I was blessed by having brothers and sisters and made their rest in peace. My mother and brothers and sisters, they helped me to be uh, you know, a child and living there. And I left Iran to come to get education when I was about 18 years old or so. Then I went all around the world from Europe to America. And I must tell you, when I got to America, I was 18 years old and I had $18 to my pocket. Wow. Even though I came from a rich family, rich Jewish family, but I started working and uh, I did a lot of uh, things that the students uh, they do work right 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 and then uh, I, I was lucky and I was determined to make it and I said if you make it in America you can make it anywhere you know I, I learned that that's very same lesson I was in broadcast media and I worked in Spanish language media and I had this opportunity to go to Santa Fe New Mexico mm -hmm. and the most valuable lesson I learned being in sales in Santa Fe New Mexico was if I could go to a place where I knew absolutely no one and make it there, I could do anything I wanted in my whole entire life. And that has been just the foundation of, you know, just following the dreams and making it happen. It's such, such a good lesson. It's, you know, you set your mind and, and, and you make it happen. You had shared an earlier story about your, your entree in, into media, and it almost parallels my story. There was a good friend of mine, Lisa Pacheco Dow, child that you know very well, mm -hmm. and had come up to me in, in January and said, uh, she offered me on several occasions, would you like to have a TV show? I said, I, I don't know. And, all my friends said, no, Rosalind, no, Rosalind, you're gonna, you're gonna, oh, a ton of money, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do this. You know, Rosalind, if you don't take that opportunity right now, you know, I've got three other people lined up, is this, is this station gonna be yours or is it not gonna be yours? And so here we are, almost six months later, my station is now in, in Las Vegas. I'm going to a trip to Egypt to interview a diplomat. And, you know, sometimes you gotta listen to that voice and he said, be true to yourself and, 
and make it happen. Absol now, absolutely. You're, you're a man who also has a number of charities. I know you've got a number of them. Well, and, we I, could, and, 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 and if you were to say the top one that you care the most about, which, which charity would you say is? I would say helping the people who are in medical need, particularly the older generation. And, uh, you know, uh, sometimes you cannot help it because uh, some people, they get in these situations that they don't know. I have met a lot of people that they were multimillionaire at the beginning, but unfortunately at the end, they had no money even to eat and particularly needing uh, great help. I have done a lot of different areas and I have, well, I'm glad to tell you that I have been uh, working in different charity organizations and I'm honored to win the humanitarian award from His Holiness John Paul the Pope from U.S. Congress, from Southern California, Motion Picture Council, from the mayor's office, from the governor's office. So, and I did a lot of work, including back in, uh, for orphanage, back in Iran, oh. which I did it till the so-called Islamic Revolution, which ruined the Iranian country oh. and Iranian the people, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, we can do, we are all human beings. We are here a short time, uh, regardless of race, color, religion, whatever. Right. We, are, we are human beings, that's all. If you have that concept in your mind that, you know, we are all the same, we are one. Right. Therefore, no matter who, we all have the same uh, feelings. And then this feeling should be toward each other too. Then we have a better world. No, that's absolutely I'm true. I'm a man of peace and I always think that way. So that, that, that was my mantra for today, calm, peace and the rest. What, what drew you into to health as the area that you wanted to focus on? Did you have some illness in your family or something that happened in, in your immediate or how did you get drawn to focusing on, on the uh, health aspect? Actually, of I've been lucky. My family, uh, they, uh, they rest in peace, but mainly my family, we had longevity. Wow. My mom, man, when she rest in peace, was 97 years old. I had two sisters, 105 and 103. Uh -huh. uh, they passed, my brother was 101, and I have two brothers and two sisters who uh, were in, uh, you know, uh, in their 90s. Wow, I, I, hear the, I, I hear the sound, and we're gonna have to take one more break, one more break to talk about longevity. Nurse Access Staffing is seeking experienced RN and LVNs. For more information, call us at 818-697-4484 or check us out on our website, nurseaccessstaffing.com.